The Hindi film industry lost veteran actor Rishi Kapoor today due to a prolonged battle with cancer. He breathed his last at Mumbai's HN Reliance Hospital, aged 67. Politicians across the spectrum condoled his deaths. Prime Minister Modi wrote he was anguished. Rahul Gandhi called it a terrible week for Indian cinema. Many celebrities and fans alike shared their grief on social media. India reported over 1,000 fresh COVID-19 cases since Wednesday evening, taking the tally in India to 33,050 on Thursday, with as many as 1,074 fatalities. Meanwhile, the centre on Wednesday announced considerable relaxations for several districts ahead of the end of the nationwide lockdown on May the 3rd. States are also drawing up protocols to facilitate interstate movement of migrant labourers. They will be transported via buses, keeping social distancing norms in place. In an online discussion with Congress leader Rahul Gandhi, former RBI Governor Raghuram Rajan said that India needs to be cleverer in lifting the lockdown and open up its economy in a measured way soon, as it does not have the capacity to support people across the spectrum for too long. Rajan also estimated that India will need approximately 65,000 crore rupees to help the poorest people in the country through the effects of the lockdown. Rajan said our GDP is 200 lakh crores and out of that, 65 thousand crore is not a huge amount. US President Donald Trump has once again lashed out at China, saying the country would do anything to stop his re-election. Trump said that the way China handled the coronavirus outbreak proves his assertion. The US President believes Beijing favors his opponent, Joe Biden, because of the tariff war waged between the two countries since 2018. The Supreme Court declined to stay the Central Vista project costing rupees 20,000 crores that seeks to build a new parliament and other central government offices in Lutian's zone in central Delhi. Chief Justice of India, S.A. Bobde, said that a similar petition against the project is pending in court. During COVID-19 situation, he said nobody is going to do anything and there is no urgency. India's permanent representative to the United Nations, Sayyid Akbaruddin, retired on Thursday. Bidding adieu to Secretary General of the UN, Antonio Guterres, via video conferencing, he extended him a namaste. Akbaruddin was appointed to the post on November 16, 2015, and is known to be one of India's finest diplomats. He will be succeeded by T.S. Tirumurthy, currently serving as Secretary in the Ministry of External Affairs.